Hello there, everybody. My name is Jim Shear. I'm Mike Adam. And welcome to Give Me Five, uh, an episode where we have props. Today's category is favorite albums of 1996. Here's why I chose this category. Obviously, it's the 20th anniversary of 1996. Yep. In my life, I think the greatest year of music was 1994, with 1996 being a runner-up. The caveat being, I think 1996 produced better albums. And there's a reason for that. All of the alternative and experimental and awesome hip-hop groups that were breaking in the early 90s were now releasing their second and third albums. So they found their groove, they knew what they were doing. Mike, give me five. All right, the number five spot, The Wallflowers, bringing down the horse. Um, I know a lot of people were skeptical at first when they heard Bob Dylan's son was putting out music mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but I think this album is really what uh, made people take him and the group seriously. Definitely one of my favorites, so many hits on there. Uh, at the number four spot, Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt. I have no idea like what <laughs> copy I got as a kid. I found it at some like random CD record yeah. <laughs> shop or whatever. It's got like little dots above the, the Y, but- You use uh, pounds to pay for that? <laughs> I know. Uh. But one of the best rap albums of all time. And it's funny, loving Jay-Z now and loving him back then, it almost sounds like two different rappers, both equally as good, but mm -hmm. very, very different. Um, at the number three spot, we got Soundgarden, down on the upside. Um, if they, you could pick any year. If they came out with an album that year, they would be on my list. Just one of my favorite groups of all time. And Chris Cornell, probably my favorite rock vocalist of all time. Okay. At the number two spot, uh, Tupac, All Eyes On Me. A lot of people consider this his best album, double CD. Uh, the, the different songs that he had on there, like, you know, he had songs you could play at a cookout that just make you wanna have all your friends over for a pool party, and then he had those songs that get you all like amped up and you wanna go and, you know, punch a punching bag or something like California that. California Love. Yeah, oh, All Eyes On Me. Seriously. And his first foray into Death Row Records. Yes, so good, classic. Uh, and at the number one spot, Sublime, their self-titled album. Uh, this, when you think of Sublime, if you know nothing about them, you know this album. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many hit records on there. They really, I kind of think they formulated a, a very different sound, a different image, and paved the way for a lot of uh, acts that came after them. Uh, and a bittersweet album. Because yes. it was released after their lead singer Bradley Noel died. Yeah. Like, imagine if he lived, they would still be one of the big bands today. Without a doubt. Sublime is still touring, but with a different vocal. I mean, it's it's crazy to think about. Yeah. So, number five for me, and I, I should point out, and it breaks my heart that Bex, Odile, and Daft Punk's homework are not on my list. Those words just came out of my mouth. These are my favorite albums of 1996. That shows you how much good material was put forth in that year. Number five, Irresistible Bliss from Soul Coughing. Loved what they did on the first album and loved even more what they did on their second album. Super Bon Bon, still the jam. Number four, this is a true masterpiece. Introducing from DJ Shadow. This entire album is made up of samples, and you wouldn't know that unless I told you. So with that knowledge, listen to this album, and it will blow your freaking mind. Number three, Pinkerton from Weezer. Yes. A lot of critics slammed this album. I loved it right out of the gate. And years later, the world finally caught on, and it's credited for starting the emo revolution. Number two, Evil Empire from Rage Against the Machine. Yes. I was working in college radio. We got this album before anyone else. See, it's a free album. The UPC symbol was <laughs> punched out with a hole punch. I took it to my dorm room, popped it in my boom box, and I was blown away for each yeah. and every track on the album. It might be one of my top 20 of all time. And my favorite album of 1996, Maniacal Laughter from The Bouncing Souls. This is the uh, the pet sounds of pop-infused punk music. Uh, not a lot of people in the, in the mainstream know about The Bouncing Souls. Uh, they would have been on par with Rancid and Green Day if they put out videos to MTV. They don't want to get success like that, so they never let MTV 
show their music videos. Uh, if they would have, it would have been a different story, but please, this is one of the greatest punk rock albums of all time, Maniacal Laughter from The Bouncing Souls, released in the glorious year of 1996. Yeah, and we had a tough time. We were digging through all our stuff. There's a lot of albums you could pick from 1996 that were phenomenal. So let us know what you think about Jim's list, my list, uh, your own list. Comment below, and we will talk to you next week.